guys, it's Sarah. And today I'm gonna to tell you about some of the books that are coming out in 2018 that I am really excited about. I don't always do anticipation videos just because I don't always buy the books I'm anticipating. So I don't pre-order a lot of books. I don't always read them in the year that they came out or right away. This year I do wanna be a little bit better about that. I do have a couple of things that I have pre-ordered and I want to make an effort to read them very soon after I receive those books so I can kind of be in a place where I can talk about new releases and you know do all that kind of stuff. So this year I wanna be a little bit better about that. So I'm just gonna go through the things that I know about that are coming out this year that I'm really excited about and just tell you a little bit about them. One thing I'm not gonna be talking about is a sequels that are coming out in a series if it's not something I'm ready to read yet or it's a series that I haven't started yet. For example, the Batman book came out January 2nd, I believe, and that's the second book in the DC Icon series. I have not read the first book, Wonder Woman, yet, so I don't know if I want to read that series or not because I haven't given it a try. I was on the fence about pre-ordering that book because I thought about it, but I told myself, nope, you need to read the first one to see if you want the second one. So those are things I'm not gonna be talking about. So if I don't mention the next Throne of Glass book, that's why, because I'm not ready to read the next Throne of Glass book. Doesn't mean I'm not excited about it. <laughs> but I'm not ready. Right, the first book that I'm gonna talk about actually did come out on January 2nd and people are raving about this book. And when I first heard about it, I was a little bit interested. I was like, oh yeah, cool, maybe. And now I'm like, I need this book. And that is Cruel Prince written by Holly Black. People are losing their crap over this book. It is ridiculous. I'm really hoping this is not like a hype train thing and you know, it's not it's not gonna suffer from that. But I have heard incredible things from multiple different people who I trust and it's making me really curious about it and making me want to read it. This book I believe is a fae book. So it follows fairies in a fairy world and all that. And I have heard some spoiler free reviews about it. I could not regurgitate exactly Exactly what everyone was saying except that they were just saying amazing things and they were just talking about the writing and just the way everything is flushed out and it's pretty complex and um, all that so I'm interested this next one also came out in January I think the original date was January 23rd but it's already out and people have gotten it from their book of the month for January my library already has it so I they pushed up the date. I'm just not sure what day it came out. But that is The Woman in the Window written by A.J. Finn. And a lot of people who have already read this are saying really good things about it, that it's a really good murder mystery type of book. And it's kind of a suspense thriller. And it is about a woman who has agoraphobia. So she kind of stays hidden away in her apartment. But one day as she's looking out her window, she witnesses a murder, I believe. And she's the only witness. So the police are trying to, you know, get her to talk to them and to come out of her shell and to literally you know we need your story and she's afraid of them she's afraid of being outside she's afraid of getting involved and I've just heard that it's really good and I believe this is a debut novel as well so I'm this is one I'm definitely going to pick up from the library my library already has it I've already seen it so I will definitely be picking this one up another book that just came out in January just came out recently is Zenith by Sasha Osberg and Lindsay Cummings this is one that I don't know if I'm going to buy it or not I kind of want to wait and see what the feedback is first before I pick it up or I may just grab it from the library because it is a science fiction novel and science fiction is something that I'm just not completely comfortable in yet but I don't know. I'm just, I really love Sasha's channel and I love watching her and seeing her writing process and everything as well. So I'm just really intrigued to see what she came up with. This next one comes out on February 6th and it is called The Friend and this is written by Sigrid Nunez. This is a book that I just recently found out about and it was just on like, you know, a list of books that are coming out in 2018 and I had never heard of it before. But this is about a woman whose best friend dies and in her will she leaves her Great Dane to this woman. So this woman inherits a Great Dane and they really find comfort in each other as far as dealing with the loss of not only the best friend but the loyal human companion that the dog had. And I am a sucker for a dog book. I don't care what it's about, who it's about, 
I just, I love them so much. I'm still not emotionally ready to read a dog book yet because we did lose our Boston Terrier last year, but I am also really interested in reading about this story. And I love Great Danes. They are amazing animals. Another one coming out in January is The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna, and this comes out on January 6th. This is one that I don't really know the premise of it, but Kristen Hanna is definitely an author that I want to read a lot more from. I do have quite a few of her books on my shelf, so I do kind of want to read some of those first, but this is definitely one I'm going to be keeping my eye out for and probably picking up sometime. And coming out on February 13th is The Queen of Hearts. This is written by Kimmery Martin, and this book is a medical drama. So it follows, I believe, two best friends who are working in the same hospital and they had gone to medical school together and did all this stuff together and they're working in the same place. And then someone from their past, a male, comes back and starts working in the hospital with them and it causes kind of a rift and some old things get brought up and it's like all very dramatic. I'm really interested in this. Number one, the cover. Seriously, this might be one of my favorite covers of all time. It is so beautiful and so gorgeous. I was actually contacted by the publisher about doing a blog hop for this one and I signed up immediately and I did get a digital copy of this book. So I do already have this book and I will be reviewing it on my channel, but I also you know, there was an option to request a hard copy of it and I requested and I hope I get it. <laughs> I haven't gotten it yet, but I'm really, really hoping I get that because I would just like, I want to wear it on my face. It's so beautiful. And coming out on March 6th is Children of Blood and Bone. This is written by Tomi Adeyemi. And this one I have pre-ordered. I am really, really intrigued by this. Number one, the cover. Can we just... This one I believe is a YA fantasy and it has magic in it and it follows a tribe and it is supposed to also tackle really hard topics like uh, racism and prejudice and, you know, fighting for rights and all that stuff. And that's really all I kind of got from it. But oh my gosh, like the cover alone, seriously, it has me like, I need to read this book and see what this is all about. It is gorgeous. I believe this is the first book in a new series that is coming out. And I'm just, I'm really, really intrigued enough that I pre-ordered it. The next one is coming out on April 10th and that is Unburied Carol written by Josh Mallerman. I have not read a Josh Mallerman book yet but I really, really want to. Like, I really, really want to. And this one sounds very interesting. It follows a woman who has this ability to be able to slip into a coma and have people actually think that she died, but she always recovers and always comes back. And I believe that something happens with her husband where he decides she needs to die now. And I think that's, that's all I'm getting. It's probably going to be incredibly weird and strange and amazing. And I just, I really want to read it. Guess who else has a book coming out in May? Stephen King. Yes, he does. He has a book coming out called The Outsider. And I believe this is coming out on May 22nd. And it is. I believe it's a book that opens up with an 11 year old's body being found and you kind of follow the investigation from there. And yeah, it's Stephen King. I'm most likely going to be checking it out. The next one comes out on May 29th and that is Legendary written by Stephanie Garber. This is the sequel to Caraval and I am so excited for this one. I absolutely loved Caraval and I read that almost right away when I ordered it last year and this one I have pre-ordered again and I do plan to read it right away when I get it. This one is just going to be a continuation of the story and the way that Caraval left off of. I'm really excited about the direction this one's going to take. I have a feeling it's going to focus more on the sister of the main character, which I was really intrigued with when I was reading the book. I really wanted to know more about her. And I think that's what we're going to be getting in this one. And I am just, I'm so excited. The next one is coming out June 5th. And this one is called Florida and it's by Lauren Groff. Lauren Groff is the one who wrote Fates and Furies, which is a book I'm really interested in, but I haven't read it yet. But this one is actually a nonfiction book and it follows everyday life living in Florida. And the 
it's kind of following centuries of living in Florida and kind of, you know, things that people were going through and the environment and, you know, the dangers and all this stuff. And I believe that Lauren Groff is from Florida. So she kind of did some research and, you know, decided to write this one. And I'm really excited to read it. I myself am from Florida as well. So I think that this is going to be one that I really enjoy. On June 19th, there is going to be a new book from Caroline Kepnes, and that is called Providence. Caroline Kepnes wrote the book You, which is is one of my favorite books. I absolutely love that book. And I definitely want to read more from her. I did read You and Hidden Bodies, which was the sequel. So this is going to be her third book coming out. And I'm really excited to see what it's about. I have no idea what it's about, but I kind of just want to leave it that way. But this is probably going to be one that I'm going to be pre-ordering as well. All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. I don't care. I don't care what it's about. It's probably going to be problematic. It's fine. I'm going to buy it because I love Colleen Hoover. The way that she just writes these stories and makes you feel things that you should not be feeling. You should not be feeling these things. You should not be rooting for these things, but you do anyway. And you know it's problematic. Oh my goodness though, that woman, she's she's one of my favorites. She's an auto buy author for me. I will be buying this book. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Again, I just don't do these videos all that often since I don't pre-order a ton of stuff, but this year I'm gonna pre-order a couple of things and I'm just going to really try to make an effort to read them quickly and right away so I can kind of talk about them with you guys as I am getting them. And let me know down below if there's any more coming out that you guys know about. Um, I wasn't able to find much that's coming out towards the end of the year as far as things that I was going to be able to pre-order and to read right away. You know, a lot of things are coming out towards the end of the year that are sequels that I'm just not ready to read yet. So that's why I'm not mentioning them. But let me know down below what's coming out this year that you guys are really, really anticipating and you're excited for. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Have a great day. Bye.